welcome back and welcome if you're new. My name is Tara and I live in Upper Michigan and I just had to introduce my video to you today from the gorgeous shores of Lake Superior. So welcome. In this week's video, I'll be preparing my kitchen for another busy week ahead. In the kitchen, dishes, cleaning, services, food prep, and dinner meal planning are all a big part of setting my family up for a successful week ahead. Of course, laundry is always on the list, but my biggest focus this week was on our living room, and I am so excited to share a quick DIY paint project with you. So grab a drink and get comfy, or join me as I take on another week of cleaning and homemaking as a full-time, work-from-home mom of two. Let's jump right on in. If there is one thing that I'm gonna get ready for the week ahead, it is my kitchen. So every week on Sunday, usually afternoon and evening, I typically start by picking up all the messes, putting food away, getting rid of garbage, all that kind of thing, putting the crock pot away, just getting surfaces clean so I can get ready to get the dishes done. But the most important for, thing for me for a successful week is to make sure that my kitchen is in tip top shape and ready to go. Typically, I'll start by clearing out any junk mail, going through homework that was brought home on Friday, making sure all permission slips are signed and back into folders. So I'm going to get some music going and let you guys sit back and enjoy watching me speed clean through my kitchen. We're going to start by unloading the dishwasher and then do hand washing dishes, cleaning the countertops, all that great stuff. So enjoy. Does anyone else's daughter or son love Taylor Swift? We just saw the movie concert experience this last weekend because sadly we weren't able to make it to any of the shows, but it was really, really enjoyable and I'm not a pop fan typically.
I have no idea how that many dishes add up. Anyway, now that the hand wash dishes are done, we're going to get the countertops nice and cleaned off and wiped down, and I'm going to get that sink cleaned out for the evening. Now that the sink is all cleaned out and shiny, I'm adding some orange essential oil I got from Grove Collaborative into the drains. I can't believe I haven't thought about that before, but I got this great idea from Amanda over at This Crazy Life. Genius, I tell you. Genius. Now that that side of the kitchen is all clean, we're moving to the other side and I'm just kind of showing you how dirty my countertop has gotten in an afternoon and we're going to clean that all up. So satisfying to see all the dirt and crumbs wipe away. After this, we are going to clean my gas stove, which is fairly new for our home and I love it. We went from electric to gas and I will never go back. I'm going to be finishing off the kitchen cleanup for the week ahead by sweeping the floor and steam mopping. You'll have to excuse my dog Bean. She is going to be in and out through most of my videos. She is my shadow and follows me everywhere. So she is quite an old gal.
using a shark steam mop I got probably 10 plus years ago from Walmart and while it works wonderfully I have a very very tiny little broom closet that I can keep my vacuum my steam mops my other mops and all that in and I really have my eye on one of those I think it's called Tinco maybe Tinco vacuum mop combos. Do you have one of those? Let me know in the comments below. And oh my word, did you see that mop head? The kitchen has officially been put to bed and we're moving on to day two. Outfit change number two. On this day, I got done with work a little early, about three o'clock, just in time to pick my kids up from school. And because we are free this evening, no sports practices, appointments, etc. I am going to do my kiddos a favor and fold their laundry. I really love folding laundry. I know that is probably really, really strange, but it is my favorite thing to do, especially kids clothes. I don't know why, but I find it really relaxing to just kind of sit down and zone out and fold a bunch of clothes. While both of my kids are more than capable of folding and putting away their own laundry, one of the ways that I love to express my love for my children is to surprise them with tidy rooms or by folding their laundry and putting it away neatly in their dressers and closets. It's just one way that I know that they feel loved and protected and so I absolutely love to do that for them when I have the ability. Next, I'm moving back into the kitchen. The night before, I just simply did not have time to prep any fruit or other vegetables for lunches and that kind of thing for the upcoming week. So I'm gonna cut up this cantaloupe really quick. And the other thing that I'm going to do is fill that kind of two towered tiered baskets off to the left there. Those are school lunch snacks and other snacks. And I like to keep that fully stocked so my children have options when we are packing lunches in the morning because I do pack their lunches most days. So we're just getting some small amount of food prep done for the week. Not too much this week, other weeks there is quite a bit more. The final thing I'm going to be doing on this day is preparing this plant stand table thing that I got at a rummage sale for 50 cents over the last summer. I'm using liquid sandpaper to prep it and then I'm going to prime it on this night. And honestly, it's going to be a couple days later and a whole brand new outfit that I'll be in when I actually get around to putting that final coat of paint on.
I think this is outfit number three. Anyway, this night I had just enough time to paint the plant stand this pewter green color. It's a Sherwin-Williams color. I did get it in another brand paint because I got it from Ace Hardware, which is available here in town. But I think it turned out really well. Stay tuned for the end of the video, like I said, to see what the plant stand looks like in my living room amongst all my other green, green plants. I apologize right now for the vertical format of this portion of the video. It's taking me a little bit to remember to hold my phone the other way, especially when I am holding it and walking around to record. So I apologize. Anyways, there is that dusting spray and rag that has been sitting there for three weeks. Uh, we're going to put it to use today. And I'm going to show you a close up of the dog hair that builds up and the layer of dust that's on my shelves. While we're at it, I just wanted to remind you that my hardwood floors have been covered by carpet since the 1950s and had never been carpet free until we removed it when we moved in four years ago. So I'm aware that the floors are in pretty rough shape. It is our goal that within the next year that we will finally sand down and restain and seal those floors so they won't be looking quite like that for too much longer, hopefully. I know that it's not good for the wood to be uh, bare and untreated like that, but for health reasons, it, this is better than the carpet that was there. I'm going to start by using a dry mop pad to dust the wood paneling walls in here. And now I know why I don't like to do it very often. I am not a minimalist, as you can tell, and it is extremely difficult not to bump into lampshades, artwork, cords, what have you, while doing this. But, you know, not too bad so far. I'm kind of surprised. I don't even know where the other one went now. I don't know if you all know what earwigs are, but here in northern upper Michigan, in upper Michigan, since I can remember as a kid, we have always, always, always had an earwig problem. And it's not, it hasn't been bad in many, many years, but like this year, I have noticed there has been an increase in earwigs wiping my up by my ceiling there were two earwigs and i knocked one off and it fell on my couch and i am disgusted it's even worse than a spider i think spiders don't want anything to do with you earwigs will bite you and it hurts and now i like want to run away and never come back so ew if you see me scream or jump back again just know that the earwig came out and I'm really grossed out. Okay. Oh my God, I couldn't even hear it hit the couch. Yuck. Mm -mm. Nope. Nope, nope. There we go. It wasn't too terrible. I did this not too long ago. It was more of getting the cobwebs that were up higher than I can reach. But I do regularly like use a multi-purpose cleaner to wipe off the walls at least as far as I can reach, especially by my couch because one of my dogs likes to go up on the back and she just kind of rubs along the wall.
That big jar there on the left is beach glass that we collect from our local beach here on Lake Superior. And it's been many, many years of collecting glass to get to that point. But yeah, that's the goal. And it's extremely heavy already. I'm not even sure what we'll do. Here's a picture of my grandpa. Isn't he handsome? And a picture of my grandma. And they are the ones that built this house. And I am so blessed to own it. Another thing I did want to mention is that I, for whatever reason, had a really hard time redecorating these shelves after the Christmas season last year. They looked so pretty during Christmas, and then I found that when I was done, I just had no inspiration to decorate them again. So thank goodness Christmas decor is coming back out here really, really soon. I did this section of cleaning the living room when I had about an hour break in between dog grooming appointments this day. So uh, we're going to be coming up to the end of the living room clean for this day and the end of outfit number, was it number four? Anyway, we're going to do a nice vacuum. I'm going to vacuum off the chair and the couch and we are going to be heading on into the final day of this week's house clean and tidy for a full-time work from home mom. round off the living room refresh I am going to just go around and water most of my plants I am by no means an expert but I do really enjoy collecting various clippings of plants and full gold plants and just seeing how they grow and seeing if I can ensure that they do stay alive and sometimes they look pretty poorly but for the most part I enjoy my plant babies just as much as I enjoy my animal and human children. Here is the final plant stand reveal. That's the plant stand right over there that I painted that pewter green color. I absolutely love it. And this is the pot that that plant I just set on there is going to go into. I just got this plant from my grandma's house and it had been feeling a little droopy. It had been left alone for a while. So I just gave it some water. I'm gonna let it acclimate to my home before I traumatize it again and put it into a new pot, but that is the pot I'm going to put it in, and there it is, the final reveal. Thanks for being here, everyone. Have a great week.